Booker Prize, the Man Booker Prize for Fiction, formerly known as the Booker McConnell Prize and commonly known simply as the Booker Prize, is a literary prize awarded each year for the best original novel written in the English language and published in the UK. The winner of the Man Booker Prize is generally assured international renown and success, therefore, the prize is of great significance for the book trade. From its inception, only novels written by Commonwealth, Irish, and South African, and later Zimbabwean, citizens were eligible to receive the prize, in 2014. However, this eligibility was widened to any English-language novel, a change which proved controversial. A high-profile literary award in British culture, the Booker Prize is greeted with great anticipation and fanfare. It is also a mark of distinction for authors to be selected for inclusion in the shortlist or even to be nominated for the longlist. The prize was originally known as the Booker McConnell Prize, after the company Booker, McConnell Limited began sponsoring the event in 1969, it became commonly known as the Booker Prize or simply the Booker. When administration of the prize was transferred to the Booker Prize Foundation in 2002, the title sponsor became the investment company Man Group, which opted to retain Booker as part of the official title of the prize. The foundation is an independent registered charity funded by the entire profits of Booker Prize Trading Limited, of which it is the sole shareholder. The prize money awarded with the Booker Prize was originally £21,000, and was subsequently raised to pound 50, 000 in 2002 under the sponsorship of the Man Group, making it one of the world's richest literary prizes. In 1970, Bernice Rubens became the first woman to win the Booker Prize, for the elected member. The rules of the Booker changed in 1971, previously, it had been awarded retrospectively to books published prior to the year in which the award was given. In 1971 the year of eligibility was changed to the semi as the year of the award, in effect, this meant that books published in 1970 were not considered for the Booker in either year. The Booker Prize Foundation announced in January 2010 the creation of a special award called the Lost Man Booker Prize, with the winner chosen from a long list of 22 novels published in 1970. Alice Munro's The Beggar Maid was shortlisted in 1980, and remains the only short story collection to be shortlisted. John Sutherland, who was a judge for the 1999 prize, has said, in 1972, the winning writer John Berger, known for his Marxist worldview, protested during his acceptance speech against Booker McConnell. He blamed Booker's 130 years of sugar production in the Caribbean for the region's modern poverty. Berger donated half of his £5,000 prize to the British Black Panther movement, because they had a socialist and revolutionary perspective in agreement with his own. In 1980, Anthony Burgess, writer of Earthly Powers, refused to attend the ceremony unless it was confirmed to him in advance whether he had won. This was one of two books considered likely to win, the other being Rites of Passage by William Golding. The judges decided only 30 minutes before the ceremony, giving the prize to Golding. Both novels had been seen as favorites to win leading up to the prize, and the dramatic literary battle between two senior writers made front-page news. In 1981, Nominee John Bonville wrote a letter to The Guardian requesting that the prize be given to him so that he could use the money to buy every copy of the long-listed books in Ireland and donate them to libraries, thus ensuring that the books not only are bought but also read, surely a unique occurrence. Judging for the 1983 award produced a draw between J. M. Coetzee's Life and Times of Michael Kay and Salman Rushdie's Shame, leaving chair of judges Faye Weldon to choose between the two. According to Stephen Moss in The Guardian, her arm was bent and she chose Rushdie only to change her mind as their assault was being phoned through. In 1993, two of the judges threatened to walk out when train spotting appeared on the long list. Irvin Welsh's novel was pulled from the short list to satisfy them. The novel would later receive critical acclaim, and is now considered Welsh's masterpiece. The choice of James Kelman's book How Late It Was, How Late is 1994 Booker Prize winner proved to be one of the most controversial in the awards history. Rabbi Julian Neuberger, one of the judges, declared it a disgrace and left the event, later deeming the book to be crap. W. H. Smith's marketing manager called the award an embarrassment to the whole book trade. Waterstones in Glasgow sold a mere 13 copies Kelman's Mogadon the following week. In 1994, Guardian literary editor Richard Gott, citing the lack of objective criteria and the exclusion of American authors, described the prize as a significant and dangerous iceberg in the sea of British culture that serves as a symbol of its current malaise. In 1997, the decision to award Arundhati Roy's The God of Small Things proved controversial. 
Carmen Callil, chair of the previous year's Booker Judges, called it an execrable book and said on television that it shouldn't even have been on the shortlist. Booker Prize chairman Martin Goff said Roy won because nobody objected, following the rejection by the judges of Bernard McLaverty's shortlisted book due to their dismissal of him as a wonderful short story writer on that Grace Notes was three short stories strung together. Before 2001, each year's long list of nominees was not publicly revealed. In 2001, A. L. Kennedy, who was a judge in 1996, called the prize a pile of crooked nonsense with the winner determined by who knows who, who's sleeping with who, who's selling drugs to who, who's married to who, whose turn it is. The Booker Prize created a permanent home for the archives from 1968 to present at Oxford Brookes University Library. The archive, which encompasses the administrative history of the prize from 1968 to date, collects together a diverse range of material, including correspondence, publicity material, copies of both the long lists and the short lists, minutes of meetings, photographs and material relating to the words dinner, letters of invitation, guest lists, seating plans. Embargoes of 10 or 20 years apply to certain categories of material, examples include all material relating to the judging process and the long list prior to 2002. Between 2005 and 2008, the Booker Prize alternated between writers from Ireland and India. Outsider John Bonville began this trend in 2005 when his novel The Sea was selected as a surprise winner, Boyd Tonkin, literary editor of The Independent famously condemned it as possibly the most perverse decision in the history of the award and rival novelist Tibor Fisher poured scorn on Bonville's victory. Karen Desai of India won in 2006. Anne Enright's 2007 victory came about due to a jury badly split over Ian McEwan's novel on Chesil Beach. The following year it was India's turn again, with Aravind Adika narrowly defeating Enright's fellow Irishman Sebastian Barry. Historically, the winner of the Man Booker Prize had been required to be a citizen of the Commonwealth of Nations, the Republic of Ireland, or Zimbabwe. It was announced on September 18, 2013 that future Man Booker Prize awards would consider authors from anywhere in the world, so long as their work was in English and published in the UK. This change proved controversial in literary circles. Former winner A.S. Byatt and former judge John Mullen said the prize risked diluting its identity whereas former Judge A.L. Kennedy welcomed the change. Following this expansion, the first winner not from the Commonwealth, Ireland, or Zimbabwe was American Paul Beattie in 2016. Another American, George Saunders, won the following year. In 2018, publishers sought to reverse the change, arguing that the inclusion of American writers would lead to homogenization, reducing diversity and opportunities everywhere, including in America, to learn about great books that haven't already been widely heralded. The selection process for the winner of the prize commences with the formation of an advisory committee, which includes a writer, two publishers, a literary agent, a bookseller, a librarian, and a chairperson appointed by the Booker Prize Foundation. The advisory committee then selects the judging panel, the membership of which changes each year, although on rare occasions a judge may be selected a second time. Judges are selected from amongst leading literary critics, writers, academics and leading public figures. The Booker judging process and the very concept of a best book being chosen by a small number of literary insiders is controversial for many. The Guardian introduced the Not the Booker Prize voted for by readers partly as a reaction to this. Author Amit Chaudhary wrote the idea that a book of the year can be assessed annually by a bunch of people, judges who have to read almost a book a day, is absurd, as is the idea that this is any way of honoring a writer. The winner is usually announced at a ceremony in London's Guildhall, usually in early October. In 1993, to mark the prize's 25th anniversary, a Booker of Booker's Prize was given. Three previous judges of the award, Malcolm Bradbury, David Holloway and W. L. Webb, met and chose Salman Rushdie's Midnight's Children, the 1981 winner, as the best novel out of all the winners. In 2006, the Man Booker Prize set up a Best of Barrel Prize, for the author Beryl Bainbridge who has been nominated five times and yet has failed to win once. The prize is said to count as a Booker Prize. The nominees were An Awfully Big Adventure, Every Man for Himself, The Bottle Factory Outing, The Dressmaker, and Master Georgie, which won. Similarly, the Best of the Booker was awarded in 2008 to celebrate the prize's 40th anniversary. A short list of six winners was chosen and the decision was left to a public vote, the winner was again Midnight's Children. In 2018, to celebrate the 50th anniversary, 
the Golden Man Booker was awarded. One book from each decade was selected by a panel of judges, Naipaul Zine of Free State, the 1971 winner, Lively's Moon Tiger, 1987, Ondatya's The English Patient, 1992, Mantle's Wolf Hall and Saunders Lincoln in the Bardo. The winner, by popular vote, was The English Patient. Each publisher's imprint may submit two titles. In addition, previous winners of the prize and those who have been shortlisted in the previous five years are re-automatically considered. Books may also be called in, publishers can make written representations to the judges to consider titles in addition to those already entered. In the 21st century the average number of books considered by the judges has been approximately 130. A separate prize for which any living writer in the world may qualify. The Man Booker International Prize was inaugurated in 2005. Until 2015, it was given every two years to a living author of any nationality for a body of work published in English or generally available in English translation. In 2016, the award was significantly reconfigured, and is now given annually to a single book in English translation, with a £50,000 prize for the winning title, shared equally between author and translator. A Russian version of the Booker Prize was created in 1992 called the Booker Open Russia Literary Prize, also known as the Russian Booker Prize. In 2007, Man Group PLC established the Man Asian Literary Prize, an annual literary award given to the best novel by an Asian writer, either written in English or translated into English, and published in the previous calendar year. As part of the Times Literature Festival in Cheltenham, a Booker event is held on the last Saturday of the festival. Four guest speakers slash judges debate a short list of four books from a given year from before the introduction of the Booker Prize, and a winner is chosen. Unlike the real man Booker, 1969 through 2014, writers from outside the Commonwealth are also considered. In 2008, the winner for 1948 was Alan Payton's Cry, The Beloved Country, beating Norman Mailer's The Naked and the Dead. Graham Greene's The Heart of the Matter and Evelyn was the loved one. In 2015, the winner for 1915 was Ford Maddox Ford's The Good Soldier, beating the 39 Steps, John Buchan, of Human Bondage, W. Somerset Mom, Smith, journalist, P. G. Woodhouse, and The Voyage Out, Virginia Woolf. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.